It says the population of the Taldarim Blade world is only 12 million? Really? Only 12 million? They get a lot of damage to for only 12 mil. That's like what? One of the major cities in the US? He is a uh, <clears throat> fierce negotiator. Strong negotiator. Lacks finesse. Makes up for it in brutality. <clears throat> Let's get started. Steps of the right. I cannot actually make void raids. Because, you know, they're, they're too good. Void raids, way too good. But I do remember this mission being quite punishing to ground compositions. I did just unlock the Tempest, though. Ooh. Psychedelics. One immortal up there, he says to the other, did you see that? I think some zealots just came out of that portal. Oh man, you've been hit in the terrazine again. Cannot deny that claim. I do enjoy a challenge, or else I wouldn't be putting myself through all of this, would I? You don't think I just wake up in the morning and say, "You know what? I really want to make adepts and tempests." They are expensive. 350, 250. No minor thing. I would really like to play with Dark Archons today. I don't know if I'm going to be able to in this mission. Pardon. Get some mirages in here. Very helpful. Versus Colossi, of course. Just make a bunch of probes. Wait in a couple of years for me to have enough money to get a Tempest. This is actually a lot of stuff. That was like, what, six Marauders? Six Zealots? I know they die quickly. They die easily. Like they take extra damage, but still. Those are Siege Tanks.
Yikes. Warhounds? That one's actually pretty easy. The couple void rays are really nice. I remember this mission being very good for void rays. The achievement that I did recently, you make a bunch of voids and you just go around the edges of the map. Maybe that's what I can do with Tempests. Mm, no, don't need it. That's okay. Do a little bit of scouting with the Mirage. I want to know how much is on the edges of the platforms. Whole lot of nothing here. Perfect. That's what I like to see. Oh, that's right. I'm gonna have to kill the motherships too. Hmm. I don't need the solar right, but I know you guys get all antsy if I don't do the bonus objectives. Let's get a second Stargate. Please don't pick a fight with a cannon. It's probably not healthy. So there's a couple cannons down here. <laughs> What do we got? Cannon, cannon, a lot of cannons, tempest, and hybrid I saw. All right. It looks like I might actually be able to do that with the tempest. I'm gonna call that my emergency plan though. My my backup plan. I would rather not cheese it. It feels a little cheesy, but if I need to do it, I will. The other big question is these motherships. I don't know how much health they have. These guys do 60 versus ground and 60 versus air and ground. 500 over 20 seconds. Okay. That dot though, I think there can only be one at a time. Hmm. Alright, here comes the fog. See how the tempests fare. Banshees and Ultras. Immortal Roach. Void rays are taking a beating, but everything else is doing okay. Lift that up. Thank you. Gonna lose a pylon, but that's okay. Oh, Zealots. The Tempest's worst enemy. Broods. They send broods too? Oh, man. 
Oh, well, that would be because I lost a pylon. Can you guys... Thank you. Never mind. Holy Marauder, Batman. Oh, Mains, too. Guys. Holy hell. That was the second fog phase. I don't think this is going to go very well. I'm going to need to speed run this one. That was a disaster. deal with this now 1500 oof okay let's go ahead and bring down the beam mm -mm. and now they're attacking here Do I just try and buy time? Can I get to it in time? I think I might need to just recall. I can't warp anything in either. Oh man. Not good. Bring it on. Can't save the core. Okay, I gotta get some of this done. We'll have the Tempest go to the bottom. I'm gonna make a pylon over there just for safekeeping. Can the Void Ray handle this? Because that would be very nice. Get everybody grouped up. Vaporized. I know you guys missed that Tempest audio. <laughs> Can you handle this one? It doesn't freeze him. Oh. Man. What the heck? What? Immortal Joe? Okay then. I'm not sure what that is. I'm not sure I've ever seen that before. In all the years I've been doing this mission. And I'm just gonna move on. Under attack. Can I get this done? Let's go. Freeze the banshees. Because I can shoot down the carriers quickly. That's a lot of zealots. Four colossi and a ton of zealots. I am losing probes left and right. Broodlord Marauder. What a combo. Oh yeah, let's ultras. Let's throw in some damn ultralisks too. With medevac support. Am I going to lose the Nexus? I don't think so. I think I'm okay. But I... am in a lot of trouble. 
This is not an easy mission, guys. I'm impressed, actually, at how rough this is. Let's finish this now. I cannot survive another fog. Every fog phase, my base is shrinking. But with 14 tempests, I should be able to handle everything. Why not? Uh oh. Get out, get out, get out of there, boys. Enemy ships have set a course for our nexus. Well, the mothership goes down. Okay, I'll race against the clock now. They're they're attacking my base. My probes are fine, I trust them. Let's get the beam down. Just focus that. Oh, thank gosh. Such a good effect. That's the Tempest Disintegration ability. Oof. Baited. everyone's high school days. You're going down, person. I am going to make this clear. The Templar are not a weapon you can wield as you wish. We are not here to slay your enemies under false pretenses. Deceive me again, and this alliance of ours comes to an end. You're a bold dude, talking to Alaric like that. He's been hitting the Terrazine. does not believe in stim packs. Oh, burn. What I was gonna say. Artanis, shouldn't you be worried about some like second hand smoking for Terrazine? 
he was he was pretty close to you for that. The assault ships are now ready for your inspection. Oh, what do we get? Tempest. Instead, oh mother ships. I must admit, they are quite impressive. We are the soul of strength. Well, they are quite impressive indeed, but I am using tempests, which after that mission, I have to say, did pretty darn well. Void rays, we all know, way too good. Destroyers, a little bit more fun, not as good. But I'm supposed to be using Arbiters, which I do not have yet. What's up, Phoenix? Hmm. Do I want to deploy Phoenix? Nexus Overcharge. Nexus Overcharge might actually be a little helpful. Let's try it. Switch it up. I think I'm gonna keep the recall for now, though. I know Phoenix is helpful. I want to do at least one more with recall before switching over. do this. One of my favorite missions from the campaign. Rakshir. Even got a good name. <clears throat> the right of Rakshir has begun. From this moment, only Alarak and Malash are allowed to engage each other in combat directly. One must overpower the other and reach the pit of sacrifice. Great name. Stellar. <laughs> Our pom poms. <laughs> Quick, bust out your foam finger. Lorak number one. We've got spirit. How about you? Okay. Adapts. Probably. Yeah. Okay. Now I've got my thoughts together. I can actually voice them. So I promise, guys, I am going to use Dark Archons this game. I really want to play with them. I'm going to make it happen. Even if it makes the mission take a little bit longer. So yeah, get some dark archons. Probably not the bulk of my army, but some of it. Still get some some other goodies too, some adepts, some annihilators. But the other thought I'm having is for the bonus objective. I want to use Adepts to get the bonus. Not only because they're one of the only things I can make that can shoot up, but the Shade ability might actually be really useful for getting to them. We'll find out. Let's find out together, shall we? Making probes, getting the Vespine. Don't remember when these attacks come. Get some vision in here. Two Templar, couple cannons. Wow. Okay. 
What's over this way? I think it best if we don't inform Alarak of this little diversion. Zealots, Stalker, and blank space afterwards. Ooh, okay. I do think that Adept plane is going to work. I can just shade past the Taldarim and go get the objective. And if I don't feel like shading back, I have recall. Movement abilities. OP. I like that I don't actually have to move very much if I don't want to. I can kind of just lock down one spot on this path. Maybe that's what I'll need to do for Dark Archons to work. Just take it slow. Slow and steady. Oh, pushing him back. Not very much. That's okay. Gonna need some static defense at these entrances, too. Uh oh. Is that our faction name? We're the firstborn? It's kind of silly. At least, you know, go with the day long. The Taldarim, they are the chosen, right? Such conviction. Now that's an interesting compliment. Those hybrid out of the way, can I just roast this place? Try and get those Templar. No. Uh oh. Dang. Not good enough. Get the probe down here. Take an expo. Whoa, you guys. Four out of three. Okay, good start. Get, get ready to make a nexus. Because I sure would love some extra Vespine. Get a, uh, get a monolith up here too. I think they have, is it Tempests that they have? They have carriers too, I want to say. Ooh, and Colossi. Mm -hmm. Oracle? You know you're a bad mamma jamma when you bring up real Phoenix and an Oracle as an attack wave. It's a scary Protoss force, right? Hmm. You guys. Why don't you all just settle down? I think this is going to be the place that I should lock down. 
I'm gonna lock it down. I'm gonna start getting some Darkons. Darkons. Oh, that's good. I like it. Get some Darkons, make my Adept Force, and some Static Defense for the other entrance. Probably gonna be a few minutes here. Go ahead and add on a couple more gates. I don't, I don't think I need too many gates, for the Archons at least, because they're wicked expensive. And what I do need is more probes. Which feels really weird to say, actually. I'm normally so good about having way too many probes in these missions, but... I don't know, not thinking about the money today again. Oh good, you can fit there. Excellent. Good job. You get that, Oracle. What? Carriers? Oh. Annihilators work in a pinch. Yo, come here, make a pylon, will ya? Be a deer, make a pylon for me. Okay. Yes, yes, I know. Oh, hey. Good timing. Ooh. Slaughter the firstborn. Okay, get you guys on your own number here. You know what I really wish, what I would like to see changed about Dark Archons, is give them the good old co-op treatment, I'm calling it. Start with full energy. I think it is... Excuse you. A hybrid dominator. Oh, that's fine. So, I was saying, I really have trouble with the idea that I want to warp in these Dark Archons. They start with not enough energy to cast either of their abilities, and the AI targets them relentlessly. I already lost one. Great, of course. At least with the spellcasters in co-op, they start with full energy. They have a bit more of a fighting chance. So that's what I would say to do. You, you want to make a spellcaster in your solo campaign, go for it. Make a spellcaster, they get full energy. Go wild. What's the worst that's going to happen? You storm yourself. Come on. Oh, I need more gas. Can you not go die, please? Would really like to maybe have at least two Archons. Oh, I'm sorry. Darkons. I deem that the official name. No. All future references must be Darkon. I 
I know it's a good problem to have. But it's still annoying. We'd really like to uh, snag a couple carriers. If I could get a couple carriers, ooh, that'd be nice. Just gotta keep them back, keep them safe. But did you really just mind control an immortal? Yeah, I like immortals. You don't like immortals? <laughs> oh, that worked perfectly. Oh. That is sick. That's nasty good. Well done, warriors. The first beast has been slain. Shade away. Do baby steps. No need to push it. Almost lost another Archon. Yikes. It's pretty outrageous. Let's shade again. Oh, that is so good. Oh, pulled something. I actually really like this purifier bean. I don't think it does enough damage, but hey, that's pretty good. Oh, carriers. Gimme, gimme, gimme. All of them. Thank you. Thank you very much. So, hey guys, have I got a deal for you. Let's join forces. Oh, well, okay, sure. Do you have health insurance? Yes. Yes, we do. We have health insurance and cookies. <gasps> Sold. Oh my gosh. I got Colossi and didn't lose the Archons. Darkon. Okay, so now... Oh, great power. But do they have great responsibility? Can I take that? Thank you very much. Okay, now that the bonuses are done and I have my archons, they're having fun. It's a good day. Let's go ahead and close this out. I'm just keeping the darkons back. I'm treating them like High Templar, really. They're just spellcasters. I'm gonna make a couple, a few, I should say, for my main army, because I still have my six.
Our confrontation draws to a close, Malash. Soon everyone will know the depth of your treasure. I'm not sure that's gonna be enough. Glorious combat. I do have mind controls ready. Oh, please don't pull that too. Ooh. You don't mind if I just take that, do you? Carriers. What a good choice. I'm not allowed to build carriers, but you are. <laughs> so good. Gotta love it. What a cinematic battle. Holy moly, guys. I sense more hybrid approaching. Be ready. Bring them on. I've got what? Eight carriers? Not even a contest. Oh, that was great. Oh, yeah. And obey. Malash promised you lies. There is no ascension. The Calderine will never be uplifted and become hybrid. Amon betrayed us, and for this, he must die. Hmm. Perfection. One hundred percent, my favorite character. Ah, that was not too shabby at all, guys. That felt great. Spend a little bit of time in the middle of the mission to build up the forces, get some Darkon energy, and then just flip the switch and crush it. Love it. Wow, this, this cutscene's loud. He's so snarky. Test me, Taldorim. Apron is a mighty foe. Your people cannot hope to stand alone against him. You will side with me, and together we will send him back to the abyss. <laughs> so you do understand my culture after all. Let us save it for now. We have struck another bargain. Mm. I saw zealots in those Bacta tanks back there. Thought we, uh, Oh, we already woke everybody up. Guess not. So somebody's still sleeping on the job. What's up, smooth face? Amon. Eradicated your hybrid facility and turned your servants to my side. Die. 
Ha. I knew it was going to be blinding. Isn't... <clears throat> oh, yeah, she's just gonna free herself. I can talk. That's not important. So, the Psi Matrix, that's like the network of small pylon crystals that are in the planet itself. It's what lets them warp in anywhere on higher, which is really cool technology, if you think about it. Like, we, we embedded all of these crystals into the crust. Now we can warp in anywhere. Oh. That moment when you've never had a haircut in your life. What was the, uh, <clears throat> old character? Samson. Samson? With the hair? Yeah. I'm sure there's a joke in there somewhere. Let us take a look at this. Hmm. Let's hear them. Oh, yeah. That's good. Stick in with Dark Archons. I do not have Arbiters yet. Ugh. But I don't think it actually matters for the next mission. Nothing? Nothing here? I don't, I don't think I want to change anything. At least not for this next mission because this next mission it doesn't matter at all it's i think it's the hero mission so many lost. yeah so much destruction but there is a glimmer of hope we will destroy amon's host body and cast him from the kala the templar shall make our final stand for ire for ire hmm such good music in the background too so sentimental. That is what we will be picking up with in the next episode. Thank you all so very much for joining me, for watching, for spending your, or at least part of your day. I doubt you took an entire day to do this, but thank you nonetheless. I hope that you continue to have a great day. I will see you next time. Wait for the music. There we go.